Hello and welcome back. Our next game is uh, Go Miner Classic, which I originally downloaded from this apkpr.com website. And in this game, we are going to hack the coins. So here you can see the coins. This is the amount uh, showing here. We are going to hack this to give ourselves uh, large number of coins now in this particular game the coins are coded in float a floating point number and uh, instead of integer but looking at this you wouldn't know that but uh, you can use trial and error to find out so if you were to use uh, d word or word and it doesn't work then when you switch to float it works then you know this is a floating point number so also, this uh, dollar sign here hints that this is a floating point number. So use the version which I provide from, for you uh, from the download section for this uh, session, for this course. So I'm using version 2, 2, 7, 6. So use the same version so that you can follow along. So after you have downloaded and unzipped, you will find this file here. So this is the one we want to install. So just drag this into your LD player. And you will see that there's a install succeeded message. Just close it. So now let's launch the game. Click on this to start. So here is the miner and this is the mining tool. So it, to activate the mining tool, you just uh, click anywhere down here. When the mining tool is above, a target you just click on it and this uh, mining tool will go down just click now and you grab something and you watch the so now you have 11 so you have 11 11 uh, currency so you click on home let's attach our uh, game guardian to this game click on game guardian to launch it and then click start and now the floating icon is here. Now notice my floating icon is opacity. I readjusted it to 50%. So how do you adjust to 50%? I will show you now. Click on this. And then attach to go minor by clicking go minor. And then here is the settings uh, button. So click on this settings button. And then you go down and look for icon. Look for icon. icon transparency see this click on this and then you can adjust the transparency by dragging it up to make it 100% uh, transparent so that you can't see it or you can drag it all the way to the left to make it 0% transparent which means you can see it fully fully opaque so I readjusted this to 50% over here and click OK so this is useful because when you are in the game, you want to be able to see your icon here, but you don't want it to block the back, the view at the back. Alright, so now you're going to search for 11. So click on this now and then do a search. Click on this button search and then go for this uh, search for known value. And here put 11. Your currency is 11. Could be $11, for example. And then type here under type click and search for float at first if you didn't know what type it is you can use uh, auto or you can use dword then when you find that it's not working come back and change accordingly so now uh, I'm going to select float because I know I've tried this before it is float so click on float and then now uh, no need to change anything else just click on new search and now it's performing a search for 11.0 so uh, this will take some time. I'll just pause the video and get back once it's done. So now the search has completed and there are 138 hits. So let's try to increase or change the value of the coin so that we can refine it. So let's close this now and then go back to the game. And the game is over, no worries. So just click OK. Uh, here just click this to dismiss it 
and then go back to your game go back to your game okay okay so now we start with zero again so we can go and refine our search go back to game guardian and refine our search put zero click refine and we are down to 16 and let's continue our game just click anywhere and pick something okay so now it's increased to 100 so go back to game guardian refine our search to 100 click refine and we are down to 1 so now we can modify this value click on this button here to modify the value put 999 so click yes click close go back to the game and continue to play it hasn't updated the value yet so let's see now whether you update the value we had uh, 100 plus 999 it became about 1000 add the 20 to it and we get 1019 so we have successfully hacked this uh, game uh, hacking the uh, successfully hack the currency so this is how we can hack uh, float floating point values uh, for currencies especially uh, in this game so that's all for this video thank you for watching